What is going on guys, EFL is here and we have got the team of the season moments, Chong, the 90 rated centre mid I may add, he was in something else and I cannot remember what version he was, I don't know if it was winter wildcard I want to say, we'll have a look at it in a second, but it is obviously for the moments for the championship, so we have got the 90 centre mid and we have got to score 7 goals with midfielders in squad battles or obviously rivals champs. We've got to assist three goals using through balls with a minimum player of 80 passing, again in squad battles champs, and then score and assist using Dutch players in three separate matches, and finally win six matches with three minimum Dutch players in your starting, uh, starting 11. That, not bad to be honest, I'll absolutely take that. So, we've got one objective that is in separate matches, and obviously the win in six. You must have the three Dutch players, which is absolutely fine, and then everything else is relatively standard. The midfielder one, quite easy. The through ball one, quite easy. So let's have a look and see what sort of team we'd be looking at with it. I know I've got Van der Sar and also Virgil in the team. We, though that is the Prem. If we go not into the squad builder, we should be able to find it in squad selector. And if we go into my champs team, I think it is, we have got currently, we don't have Virgil in, but we do have him there. And I think all I have to do really is go with Cruyff up front, and that gets me my three players up front. Obviously with a passing one, so we need to make sure that we've got at least 80 passing on each of the players. So 90 on him, 93, 87, 86, 80 lucky on, on Mbappe, and 88 on Cruyff. If we look at the bench, Dalglish wouldn't do, Jabi Alonso is fine, Kane is fine, Bale, pretty much most of the top end should have 80 passing. Especially if it's a midfielder as well, you should be pretty golden with it. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. But at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. That Other Dutch players that obviously you can use. We obviously have the uh, Dutch team of the season. So we have De Jong. We have a couple of the center backs. And I think a few more in the bottom. Vermin's there. Plenty of passing on him. And like we see here, most of them do have 80 passing and above. So that should be absolutely absolutely gravy like we say if you want to go for the score and an assist it's always good to have two players with the passing as obviously you could pass one to the other and then you get the goal pretty easily and you get it done straight away so with the midfielders you've got a couple of options with this either you obviously are just trying to win the matches as normal trying to go through if you're doing your rivals grind or finishing off your champs then if you've got three dutch players in there then you may score a couple of goals with your midfielders anyway without you even knowing a cutback a cross maybe just running through on goal there's sometimes that zidane and taram do score so that could be as you're going for the six matches if, obviously, you just try and do that and you don't get it by, say, the fifth win, what I would probably go and do is just go and do it in a squad battles match, get one game out of the way, easily just put somebody up front on semi-pro, and you should get it very, very comfortably in one match. Then, obviously, you've got your through balls. Again, that's pretty standard. All you need is the 80 passing, which your midfielders should have, and all you need is a through ball and score. That is a very simple one and should be able to get that done in literally a couple of matches at best. We then have score and assist with the Dutch players. Like I say, two Dutch players up front, one to the other, get the goal, get the assist. Job is a good and do that three games in a row or three games out of the six and you are absolutely golden. Like I say, anything... If you get to five matches and say you need one more score and assist, you need two more midfielder goals, maybe you even need one more assist through ball, go and do it in squad battles because it would be so much easier. Even if you wanted to do it the other way around and wanted to get the score and assist, get one match done, get the three through balls, get the seven midfielder goals in one, and then just go win your five matches. Obviously then trying to get the score and assist with the Dutch players as well. It is so simple to do and you get a nice card back from it. Another 90 rated, he's a four star, four star, left footed high work rates with a left mid cam or left wing and then also from the stats i'm trying to see which ones we've got because we are pretty sure it was a rule breakers but i could oh it's winter wildcard 84 because it had the 99 shooting this one unfortunately doesn't have that same stat boost he has had 11 shooting taken off but way more on the pace obviously on the passing the dribbling the defending the physical all round look very very nice a six foot one player Good physicalities, good defending, dribbling looks sensational, as well as the passing and shooting. So I'd say he's definitely a dub. If you're looking to make a Dutch team, he's one that you definitely want to get on the cards. Very easy to do. Seven goals with midfielder. 
free through balls, score an assist in three matches with a Dutch player, and just win six matches with a minimum three Dutch players. You can't say as simple as that. So let me know down below if you're grinding Chung, and don't forget to do all the other objectives as we progress through this week. Bath Nap, check the video on screen, and make sure you subscribe. Peace.